When should you replace your cleats? We've got the, hang on, let's, um, we've got the cleats just here. When should you replace your cleats? Let's have a look. So I've just replaced these cleats. These are brand new. I love these cleats. You know what I love them? Because you can recycle them. I'm going to take that to the, uh, the recycling depot. So this is a pretty worn cleat. We're getting, starting to get a bit of slop in there. That's okay. I mean, you could still ride that. I could ride that across Australia. I've ridden across Australia before. You could, you'd ride that. You can keep riding that across Australia. No worries. But for high power, if you're trying to put the pedals down to a sprint, it just it just feels a bit sloppy. Even if you're not even pushing the power. I just went for an easy ride then up Norton Summit. And just even just, you know, up the hill, a bit more watts. You just notice it's slop. So that one's it's fine. You know, I don't need to replace it, but I am just because every second counts. This one here. Again, sort of chipped and stuff like that. If you compare it to the original one, it's it's you know it's lost a lot of the smooth edge. And this just starts to get a bit of slop. It's not a danger issue. It's just the feel doesn't feel as good. And uh, because you know I always like to have uh, what's the word? Well, I don't because look at these shoes. You know, it just it feels better having the new cleats. These old these cleats here. I've had these for years. They've been in, in the shoes for years. Now, I'll put these in the hard rubbish. Not the hard rubbish. I'll take it to the recycling depot. I've got some chains and cassettes I'll drop off as well. A bit OCD about that, as you can tell. So, the shoes still work all right. The carbon sole is still fantastic. I've got some inner soles in there. These are from uh, Soulstar. They work really good. These shoes are pretty bung, though. I do lose a bit of power when I'm on the up, 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 uh, up pedal. You f my foot does sort of slop around like that because of the... Uh, this is ratchets busted up. So I'm riding with world tour riders up the hills and they're going full gas and I'm doing best to struggle on there at the back. Can't afford any new shoes, doing it doing it tough. Doing it tough these days. Maybe I can do a Kickstarter or something like that. Go, go fund me some new shoes. Just kidding, I like to just get stuff out of it. And these, these shoes just work for me, you know. These, these bonts or fake bonts, wherever they, they came from, from the local bont dealer. But uh, probably the most thrash bonts out there, what do you reckon? Put some uh, thong on there, found some thong on the side of the road. And uh, here's the other side. I cut a bit of a rough, a bit of racing flat and put on there. A bit of actual walking tread. And so they've, they've done good use. I got these in 2016. It's 2020 now. And uh, so that's how your shoes can last a long, long time. A long, long time. The cleats, not as long. Depends how much walking you do in them. But that's why I recommend mountain bike shoes and pedals. They just last. Cleats are cheaper. They're recyclable. And they just last a lot longer, you know. So plastic, plastic cleats, a bit dangerous. I can snap and break easily. But your steel cleats, I do recommend steel. Steel is real, right? Plastic for the sole, steel what it needs to be real. Plastic sole, eh? <laughs> there's a lot of us out there, but uh, that's the deal there. So that's when you replace your mountain bike cleats. You just, you're just gonna notice a bit of slop in there. And also another thing you do is tighten your uh, tension screw on your pedal as well if they get get a bit sloppy. But that's basically, the best way to tell is the cleat, the back bit gets really sort of smooth. You can sort of see that. Loses its chunk. But uh, again, depends what sort of rider you do. I could use these a lot longer. And you know, these could go for a, on for a lot, lot longer. Right? I didn't have to replace them. But just for, you know, for the feel of the race seconds, race mileage, got some PRs I want to do in the next few months. So I'll replace them anyway. But yeah, I can still use these. Probably give them away in Thailand even, maybe. Always recycle, gang. And also a hot tip as well is put some grease, put some grease in the threads when you're uh, putting the new, new, new bolts in there. That way it doesn't rust up as much. And if you've got any dirt in there, make sure you flick it out before you try and tighten or loosen them, otherwise it can strip.